Okay, this is a full moon reading for Leo. This is um, the harvest moon in Aries on October 1st. Um, it mostly talks about what is your goal for the cycle, what must you leave behind to achieve the cycle, um, and how can your, you release your inner warrior. Um, and it also says what fuels your drive. So what happened, what's kind of the cause of this change in, you know, your ambitions, stuff like that. So the first one is going to be the, um, what is the goal for this cycle? It's going to be the King of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse is well um, intended, but severe, um, idealistic to the point of blindness, overly religious or intolerant, prone to exaggeration. So perhaps there's a little bit of, um, you're trying to build yourself up. Or it could be just, um, you're trying to make yourself look good in order to achieve something else. Um, kind of like at a trade show when you trade up one item to the next item without actually using money. Um, and you can do that. I've done it. Um, anyway, we have, um, what must you leave behind to achieve this cycle, which is the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Cups in reverse is happiness, joy, feasting striving for a goal. So maybe you're leaving that behind because maybe something shifted. Um, and you're kind of, you know, kind of want to live large or you want to be prideful or you want to do something that's more glamorous, um, which is fine. Then we have, um, how can you release your inner warrior? The hermit in reverse. So I'm guessing you need to get out. Um, so indiscretion, jumping into action without forethought, Bad advice, hesitation to the point of failure, babyish reaction, withdrawing from the world too much. So you had to get out. Um, maybe you uh, got rejected. Maybe there's some other things going on that kind of make you upset um, to some point. But you have to get out there and kind of be yourself. And I think after a lot of restrictions and stuff, I think it's better to get out and stay in. Um, even if it's to run to the grocery store, um, just so you can have a breather every now and then. All right. And then we have what fuels your drive towards this goal or cycle, what happened. Um, we have the moon. So deception in all its forms, trickery, deception, conjuring, <laughs> bad motives, honest, uh, dishonesty, false friends, false pretenses, unknown enemies, trap, being led to ruin. So there's probably something that, um, it, it, it happened probably around August. There was some type of, uh, thing that might have been some point of trickery for you. And, um, yeah, you're kind of getting over that. You kind of want to go forward and do your own thing. So it kind of powered you to do something else under, like, a moon. Maybe the last moon when it was under, I think it was under um, Scorpio or Libra, I think, um, where that happened. So maybe you're just getting over that. Um, so I think the next full moon is going to be the blue moon on the 31st of October. So I'm going to be doing that reading the 10th of October, it's kind of a couple weeks off, but it's kind of a magical moon, it's kind of, you know, blood moon, a hunter moon, um, and a blue moon, of course, a traveling moon, and a blood moon, so it's kind of mystical, magical moon, so, um, stay tuned for that in October, um, and if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing on here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ideas for my next video, leave them in the comment section below and I will read those. And thank you, Leo, for watching. I will see you in the next video, alright? Bye now.